And joining us now are the founders of COVID Base AU, Jack, Darcy and Wesley. Guys, great to have you with us. Uh, Jack, I'll start with you. How did you get into this? Why? And uh, what's your role within the operation? So we started, I'll start with how we started. So we started, so last year I sort of just by myself uh, was just tracking the data for fun, very small, not too much, just on an Excel spreadsheet, pretty basic stuff. And then I sort of got quite into it and sort of just grew, but I was only really focusing on the Victorian data. It was like the second wave and that sort of stuff. And then about February this year, um, the three of us uh, decided that we thought it'd be, um, we sort of have a lot of skills and we sort of thought that we could take those skills and um, turn them into what we've created. So Darcy's really talented with the, all the coding stuff, which is, it, it's just made our life so much easier. And we really wouldn't be able to do it without that. And yeah, we sort of just, it's just evolved. Um, with my job, I suppose I um, sort of take, I, I suppose manage a lot of the social media stuff. I sort of work out what we want to present and then then it would be Darcy's job to do all the code sort of stuff. Um, yeah, I, I, yeah, I think it's my main job to work out what we want to present. And then, yeah. I... Yeah, and um, you mentioned that there Darcy is uh, kind of involved with the coding and the tech side of this. Darcy, uh, question to you. Uh, what's actually uh, involved in that? Because um, it's, it's a pretty impressive site uh, to actually... Um, analyze and look at yeah so um yeah my my bots mainly um go and so whenever the federal government or state governments release any data related to the data we're tracking then my bots will go get that data and then basically put it into jack's spreadsheet and then from there um it can read from that spreadsheet and put it into the tables on the site and also into the tweets that we put out. Now, obviously, all this attention has come from you guys posting the photo of yourself just after getting the COVID vaccine. Wesley, question to you. Uh, what what was it like getting it? Were you a bit nervous before it or anything? Uh, to be honest, yeah, I was a bit nervous before it. But, but it, the process took like two seconds and, not, and then before we even started, we finished it. Yeah, it was a really easy endeavor. Have you got any messages for uh, people your age who might be worried about getting the vaccine? Uh, it's the easiest thing about it. I recommend it. I recommend. I recommend to get any vaccine that's available to you. And yeah. Since you unmasked yourselves, figuratively speaking, as just three teenagers, what has the reaction been? Uh well, it's been pretty. Um, it's been mind blowing, to be honest. Like, uh the amount of likes on that tweet is just we would have never expected i think it's got the last time i checked something like fifteen thousand likes and uh you know we we did think it would do fairly well you know it's a special event but uh yeah it's just been amazing to hear the reaction and see the amazing comments from the whole community really and it's just you know being really, really fascinating yeah, just finally, it's funny because um, without giving away too many specifics, obviously, we all actually have a connection outside of this interview. Jack, do you want to just explain that um, a, a bit briefly? Yeah, so funnily enough, the three of us and you actually travel to the same school. So we're obviously all in Melbourne. And yeah, I think it's just a pretty funny coincidence that us three young content creators if that's what you want to call us uh uh all at the same school so we're sort of a bit connected which is a bit funny yeah and shout out to uh the teachers who are probably watching who we won't name of course guys jack wesley darcy thank you very much for joining us keep up the absolutely impressive work you guys are doing have a good night thanks leo